What's up, YouTube? Mr. Pack Ripper is back with another sports card video. And I thought I'd do a quick video on sleeving up your cards. All right? I think that's kind of cool. Um, I have four types. I have penny sleeves. I have semi-rigid. I have regular top loaders. And I have... Resealable graded card sleeves. So, I will show you what I do with each. So, I have some cards here that are sleeve worthy. All right. I am going to put them in certain sleeves. All right. So, we'll start off with the Lamello Ball base rookie. The concourse. I'm going to put him in a penny sleeve and a semi rigid. Why? Because I have a lot of these. And I want to send in <clears throat> the entire stack to PSA and see how many 10s come back. Because I have a lot of them. So I should get some PSA 10s. Um, so it's already in the penny sleeve. Now I want to put in the semi-rigid. Now these are the types of plastics that PSA... Um, or all grading companies for that matter require you to send your cards in. Uh, so once you're in your cards in the penny sleeve, you take your semi rigid. This is just happens to be a card saver one. Uh, card saver one semi rigid plastics is definitely the ones that I recommend whenever you are going to sleeve up cards to send in for a grading submission. So it just grab the plastic like so. And you slide it in like that. It takes a little practice. The first few times you do it, you'll drop the plastic or, you know, you won't be able to hold it right to get the card in. But, and there it goes. Some people, what they'll do is they'll put like a little posted tag there so the grader can simply slide it out. Um, I think it's fine just like this, but <clears throat> it doesn't hurt to add those little tags. Sometimes I think they help. So this is one. Now next, what we'll do, is, oh, also too, what I like to do, almost forgot to mention, <clears throat> I take one of these. Now there's various sizes of these. Um, these are specifically for graded cards, so they're wider. And I like to use these as an extra layer of protection. You don't necessarily need to only put graded slabs in these. You can do exactly what I'm doing right now. Right, so I do this, and then I fold it over like so, and then you have an, an extra layer of protection. You don't have to worry about dust getting in to the um, through the slit of the semi-rigid plastic. Nice double protection. There you go. So the next, so I'll take, I'll take this Lee rookie. I'll put him, always put them in a penny sleeve to start. All right. And then I'll take a top loader. These are the top of the line top loaders. You know, you can get top loaders for really cheap, but they tend to have cheap plastic. Not that good. I always make sure I buy the top of the line plastics. Like for example, these are regular penny sleeves, but I like to use what are called premium penny sleeves. The uh, type of plastic that the um, penny, the premium penny sleeves contain, you could tell that it's a far better quality plastic than non-premium. So. Just to give you some info on the top loaders, these are Ultra Pro, um, three by four inch uh, top loaders, 35 in a pack. These, you know, sometimes they're, these are hard to come by because they sell out a lot, especially last year when there was like a super shortage of, of pennies of um, top loaders. So I'll also do this with these cards. So I'll put some of them, won't go in top loaders right 
So when the instance of having a stack of hits that don't make top loader standards or my top loader standards, I put them in penny sleeves. Well, LeBron, he gets to the LeBron numbers, gets to go into a top loader for sure. You know, it's surprising how guys like LeBron who are basically at the end of their career have cards that are worth something. You know, if this was during the Junk Wax era, cards wouldn't be worth anything. There's a nice Aaron Nesmith. Real nice. I like this one. He's going to get a top loader without question. I got to give it to him. I'm sure you Boston Celtics fans like the card. Okay. Now the Kevin Lowry. And this Chris Paul. And then the stack of cards that are only penny sleeve worthy. I'll take them. I'll take one of these. Make sure they're nice and stacked well. Okay. And then I'll put them in this, like this. Expose the seal. These, are, these things get stuck on you. Okay. And there we go. Those are the... Penny sleeve versions, and I'll take the top loaded versions. I'll put those together in, in there in a separate graded card sleeve. Seal that up. Okay. Nice. Then. Take the last stack and go through it again. See if there's anything I want to save. You know, I could put some of the rookies. Okay, okay. Malachi Flynn. Let me just see if I have any con um, court sides in here. And then one more time to see if I have any. Prisms, nope, okay. Take these three rookies. I should have took these out earlier. Pretty much it, ladies and gentlemen. That's how I wrap everything up. Pretty nice, right? So, cards with that are penny sleeve only, cards that are semi rigid, and cards that are top loaded. There you go. And then, what I could do is lastly. If I wanted to, I could take this stack and put them in one of these. But I'm going to put these these in my commons shoebox. It's not really a shoebox. It's, it's a box for cards. But it's called a shoebox. So, with that being said, there we go. I'll be creating a video soon on how to... Prepare and submit your cards to grading. Take care, guys. God bless. Pack Ripper out.